What's up guys? Wills with Windows and Wheels Detailing here. We have in a little Fiat 500. And this little guy actually came from California where they require you to put on these things. So if you want to use apparently the HOV lane out there, you got to have these. There's three of these throughout. Uh, owner was a little bit concerned about ghosting, which basically means you can see the kind of the outline of the sticker if we were to remove it. We did one of them, no problem with it. So just wanted to kind of do a little how-to as far as if you got stickers like this on your own car you want to get rid of, how to do it safely, and how to make sure you don't damage the finish while you're doing it. Now, Danny, coming a little closer here. On my little rolly cart. On our little rolly cart. <laughs> you're going on a ride here. So first part, obviously, you want to get the bulk of the sticker off. Now, this one had a little surprise when I started pulling the other ones up. Um, you'll see in a second here. But basically, as you're pulling, don't, don't pull it like this kind of pull away like this way and then just let it lift nice and easy and you don't want to rush it I've never had it happen but if you had a cheap repaint or bad paint underneath this you could you pull, 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 up a, paint. You could pull yeah. a little paint real quick and that wouldn't be a good thing watch it happen to me right now on video right that's okay. why we're not going live <laughs> <laughs> right. so you can see the little surprise I have under here Nice, right? So we get extra crap to have to remove. So I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So basically just ease this back and just kind of walk it back and forth. Almost there. I'm not putting a ton of pressure. I'm just kind of doing it to where it's comfortable. And we're almost there. A little extra adhesive, but we're there. So second part. And this will hold true even more so um, if you're doing any type of debadging. You're going to have some glue or adhesive left behind. If you're doing debadging, the adhesive is even thicker, even more so of a pain in the butt to remove. But the process that we're going to do going forward will kind of be the same. So next part, you need some good adhesive remover. So we use Rapid Remover. And one thing that's really key with using this First of all, wear gloves, don't be an idiot. I should be wearing a mask right now, but I'm doing a video. So I'm sacrificing my health for you guys. How about that? He cares so much. I care so much. <laughs> Just gonna put it on lightly and don't start trying to remove right away. Giving it that minute of dwell time or so really does make a difference. I'll just kind of have a rag that's not super important just to kind of wipe up the drips as they come along. Do it in the shade, do it while the surface is cool. These are things that hopefully you know already, but if you don't, um, basically you can start staining the paint with this stuff or, or any chemical really, if you're doing it while the surface is hot. So we're just gonna give it about 45 seconds to a minute of dwell time. And then we're gonna start removing this gunk. Now, let me note, this is a plastic razor blade. Okay, this is not the real thing. <laughs> Do not try this with a real stainless steel razor blade. You will not get the results you want, I promise you. And it'll I didn't remove even, something. It'll remove something, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're trying to do body work, now you're good, but unless you're very skilled, in which case this tutorial means nothing to you anyway, so you already know how to do all this shit. All right, so. Stop cursing. I never curse. He never curses. That's fucking Neither right. do I. <laughs> so I'll usually start at a corner and just kind of work my way into it. And you can see the adhesive, like it's coming up with almost no added agitation. But we're just going to kind of work it in. Again, I'm not putting a ton of pressure, but enough to get under, under the sticker basically, under the adhesive to get this crap out. I like to keep it somewhat wet so if it starts to dry up, just add a little bit more of your adhesive remover and just kind of walk it down. As you start, as you start building this gunk up, um, again, especially if you're doing badge removal, a lot of times when you're doing badge removal, the adhesive left behind is very thick, and you'll actually have to take it off in layers. You can't just take it all in, in one swoop like this. Uh, we'll probably do another video on that another time. But as you're doing this, if you start to build up some, you can kind of scoop it up. Have a junk towel. One. I recommend just throwing this away when you're done. I mean, honestly, you're either gonna mess up your washing machine or mess up some other towels that aren't messed up like this with the adhesive that's left on here. It's not worth it for a 50 cent towel. So, just my personal opinion. So we're just gonna keep walking this down. 
Now, question, is this scratching the paint? Yes, it's leaving very fine scratches behind. That's gonna be the next step is we're gonna fix that. These scratches are not through the paint though. These are just little surface clear coat scratches basically. They're fixable. That's what this is for. Yeah, that's what that's for. That's what I've been doing over there. Right. So. so we'll probably fast forward a little bit through at this point, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this removed and then we'll be back with the result. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Action. Action. All right. So, that was that stuff removed. Now, you'll still have a little bit left over, like what you can kind of see here. Same thing. We're back to our junk towel here. And we'll just get it a little wet and try to keep it in the area where, this, where the adhesive is already at. Try not to spread it too far out because then it's just a bigger pain to clean up. Flip your towel constantly because if I try to take this piece right now that has adhesive on it and go right back to it, I'm just going to spread more. So just flip it to a clean side. Now we're just taking off the last little bit here. Buffing bug. Buffing, buffing, buffing. Hack life. <laughs> hack life. It's only hack life if I don't fix it. All right, so you can pretty much see here. We're clean, you know, it, it's, the stick is removed. Most people would stop here. Here's where you're gonna do it differently. You come up a little closer. Hopefully you can see these little scratches in here. Let's get it on here. See there? Little surface scratches. Now these are completely fixable. Let's note where they're at. I'm not doing any video tricks here. You can see some light stuff over here even where I didn't work. So the car is swirled, three years old, but this is obviously much worse where I removed the sticker. So next step, we're gonna do some removal, scratch removal. This paint's been working pretty decently for us, um, getting a lot of correction out of a single step. So we're gonna give it a try with just a medium type of a process. Uh, we're gonna use, what you got set up here? Roots yep. 21, this is a Mark II. But I'm using it at a low speed. Right. <laughs> then we got a Lake Country Force pad, it's like a polishing pad, it's kind of one of their medium pads, Meguiar's 205, which is like a medium, you could use it as a medium cut or even an aggressive cut polish with the right pad, uh, but for this case we're going to try to use it as a medium type. It's magic juice. It's magic juice. <laughs> right, Michael? Michael yes. knows what's up. Michael knows what's up. All right, so we're just going to work on this one little area here. Um, pad's already primed, she's been working over there, so we're just going to hit this one area and see how she turns out. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we had customer interruption. Everybody yeah. trouble. There's a vehicle missing. Now. Right. Same. There's a little difference now. Yeah. People are like, bullshit. You did something different to the paint. Didn't want to put it on camera. And... No. You're okay, cursing so... again, Buck. Huh? You're cursing. I'm cursing again. All right, we'll have you come back in. Uh, we had just done that one polishing pass that you saw just a few seconds ago. Wiped off. We got a little isopropyl alcohol mixture. This is just to pull out any leftover polishing oils to make sure we're not killing anything which usually is not an issue with 205. Because it's magic sauce. It's magic sauce. And then we'll hit it with the LED. We'll get in a little closer. Camera hand off. <laughs> so again, lighting plays an issue too. Overhead lighting, yeah, everything looks perfect on the entire car. 
<laughs> but you really want to check this under direct LED lighting if you really want to be particular about it. But as you can see, that one polishing set pretty much took care of all of that marring. Left it nice and glossy. Last step here would be apply your protection. So wax, paint sealant, paint coating, whatever your, your choice is, that's what you'll want to do. But yeah, that, um, this paint worked out well. If it did not pull out all the way, so if you're doing this yourself and you still see some stuff left over, if it's a bunch of it, you might want to bump up your how aggressive you're going. Um, basically, you can use a smaller pad size. That's a big thing with a dual action polish. If you go to a three or four inch pad, it's going to cut even heavier than the larger pad. Other option would be just use a more aggressive pad and or product. You'll likely have to do a couple of steps. So if I want aggressive with this at first, I'm going to leave some marring behind. Then you'll have to follow up with a fine, uh, like a, a lighter polish basically to remove the marring. Um, but I always like to try something right in, the, in between like what I did here with 205 and a, a medium pad and it worked perfectly to be able to loo, remove this a little light bit of a uh, surface scratching. So we just got two other spots around the side that had the exact same thing but that's your main deal there. Remove the sticker, adhesive remover, let it dwell for a minute or so, keep it wet and use a, a plastic razor blade to kind of work it off, have a junky towel on hand to keep your blade clean and just keep wiping off the adhesive as you, as you go around and then just polish out the surface and you're good. All right, we got the rest of this big monster to polish out. I know, it's so big. It's so huge. It's like yeah. two square feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a third of the size of my car. Yeah, we could But probably, it's so cute, I like it. probably put it in the trunk of your car. Ugh. Yeah, it, well, anybody knows that, that knows what I'm driving would agree with you. Would agree with you, yep. yep. Big yep. Lincoln, all right. Thank you guys. Hope Bye. it helped. If you got any questions, let us know. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.